Okay, so here is part two. I've picked out the beads I'm going to hang off of the bottle cap, the folded bottle cap. And I've gone ahead and done one so that I can kind of uh, quickly walk you through this next process. I use the easy rivet to rivet my pieces together. And so I'm getting ready to first uh, make a hole in the one end. And I spin that around a couple times, make sure it gets all the way through. Take it off. And then I'll punch a hole at the top. And I've already done the one in the middle that I talked about so that it's all kind of um, holding together there in the center. So now I'm going to get this centered on the top. Spin that around. And I want it pretty close to the edge because I want to use a fairly small jump ring to um, attach the eye pin to the bottle cap. So I look just double checking here. I think that looks good. Spin that around. Okay. And when you do this, it'll more than likely kind of pop things out a little bit and so you just come back and um, flatten that back out. All right, so then the other side is the rivet. This was the side that poked the holes. And I'm gonna do the center rivet first. And it's a pretty tight fit. And the, these are um, 1 16th inch rivets. And I poke that through if I can. I'm going to run this through again, kind of open that back up. When you thwack it, sometimes it will um, kind of pinch up your sides, sides of the hole. I'm just going to run that through one more time and align, get the uh, hole back aligned. piece of metal. Pop that off. Okay. All right, so it popped right through and I just want to make sure that I can see enough of it that it's going to flare over the edge. And so then this will go I'm going to open this back up again. Oop. And I definitely don't want to lose this one cuz I don't have very many of these left. So I'm gonna lay that down in there. This is pretty tricky because it's all pretty small stuff. All right, so there we go. And that's gonna flare the sides out of the rivet. Good, there we are. All right, and then these are gonna be um, eyelets here and the same same thing. I usually will turn this upside down so I'm not having to worry about that spin out and then kind of hold it at its side, get everything lined up and let it come together. All right. And the same thing here. Same thing, kind of holding this upside down. Get my fingers out of the way. All right. Okay. And you just want that flared enough that it holds it holds it together. All right. So it took me about um, half an hour to put these parts together. Um, just picking out the beads and then doing the wire wrap. Um, it'll take you some time. So let's grab a couple more. And I'm using four millimeter um, brass jump rings. And we're gonna open those up. And I'll do the top part first. Okay. 
attach. And what you want is to make sure that the ends of your wire wrap are towards the back, back side. And putting it together, make sure everything's lining up. Click into place. Alright, same thing here. Wires toward the back. Okay, put my hook earring finding on there. All right, underneath um, this video and the one before, you'll see a link to buy me a coffee if you so feel like it. I will also have these earrings up for sale in my Etsy shop, EtsyTheJadeDog.com, um, and I'll link I'll link that to the under um, under this video in the description. So there we have it. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. I'll see what else I can come up with.